Dr. King, your rented college in St. Augustine, Florida, was hit by bullets early today. Does this indicate a new outbreak of violence in the civil rights struggle? Well, it does indicate that there are still recalcitrant uh, forces alive in the South that will do anything to prevent integration. We started a strong push to desegregate facilities in that the oldest city of the United States uh, just last Wednesday, and this uh, is a result of the violent reaction to that move. Uh, the Klan is rather strong in that area, and it's been very active, and uh, I think this is the beginning of a reign of terror, and I have uh, apprised President Johnson of this through a telegram that I just sent, stating that several uh, acts of terror have taken place. Uh, some of my staff members were beaten last night. Uh, they shot in their automobiles and then went and shot in the cottage that I had just rented for our staff uh, for the months that we will be working there. So I think it is a, a critical problem and one that should uh, call, uh, bring about action from the federal government. Dr. King, have some of the unpopular civil disobedience tactics and disorders such as the New York World's Fair Stalin indicated that responsible Negro leadership may have lost control? No, I don't think at all. I, I think we still have the vast majority of Negroes following uh, the lines or the methods set forth by the established organizations and, and the responsible leaders. I think this will continue as long as we make progress, as long as we can win concrete victories. But I must say that if uh, these victories do not come through nonviolence and if the vast majority of Negroes are not able to see uh, definite gains, these other approaches may. Uh, appeal to them more in future months. You believe there's a possibility of serious bloodshed then uh, if this frustration is not overcome? Well, I hate to predict violence because I've found in so many instances that the constant prediction of violence is an unconscious invitation to it. But I must be realistic. Uh, if uh, there is not a strong move uh, to do something about the injustices that Negroes face, if there isn't something dramatic done, if the Civil Rights Bill does not pass with strength, I'm sure that it will so increase the discontent, the restlessness, the frustration, and the despair of the Negro that uh, it will be much more difficult to keep the struggle disciplined and nonviolent. Uh, don't the strong showings of Governor Wallace in the primaries in which he was entered show a public reaction against the Civil Rights Movement? I think this is a reaction from many people who have never been committed to civil rights. I don't think it means a setback or what some refer to as a white backlash. The fact is that many of these people have been out in the middle all along, neither pro or anti. Now they're forced to face the issue in a way that they've never faced it before. And they find that they have many more latent prejudices than they uh, realized. I think the other thing in the Wallace uh, showing that we must see is that uh, prejudice is not just a sectional problem, it's a national problem. And I think it may be a ble blessing in disguise in that it will cause people of goodwill to realize that much more must be done to get rid of this festering sore of segregation. How do you rate the Republican candidates in California on the issue of civil rights, Governor Rockefeller and Senator Goldwater? Now, Governor Rockefeller has uh, made it clear to the national public, and he's made it clear to me in private conversations that I've had with him, that he's committed to civil rights in general and to the Civil Rights Bill in particular. He has events broad humanitarian concern, and the Rockefeller family generally has uh, given support to civil rights. Now, Mr. Goldwater has also made his position clear. He feels that the matter of civil rights should be left uh, to the states, and this means that you leave it to Mr. Wallace of Alabama and the Bonnets and Johnsons of Mississippi. And I just don't think this matter can be left in the hands of such races. So uh, I don't think Senator Goldwater can be considered a strong man in civil rights. What influence do you think the Negro vote will have on the presidential election this year? I think we'll have great influence. The Negro vote is still the balance of power in your main urban areas, your large... Uh, communities and large electoral states of our country. And uh, I think the Negro vote may well determine 
uh, the next president of the United States. Is there any possibility that you yourself might enter politics following your own advice that Negroes should be more active in this field? Well, I haven't considered this at this point. I do think it is necessary for Negroes to become more political-minded and for more persons of integrity and depth of uh, understanding. I think it's necessary for them to enter politics, but at this point I feel that my job is uh, in the civil rights struggle and and one that should stay above uh, uh, both political parties and not become inextricably bound to either.